I'm often asked, John, when do I give my junior their first golf lesson? How do I support my junior golfer? Is my junior golfer ready to be more serious? Uh, how can I play more competitive tournaments for my or plan more junior golf tournaments? How do I get a college scholarship? And these are all great questions. Having had a vast experience at IJGA from 2000 to 2004, as well as coaching a lot of really competitive amateur juniors over the past 30 years, I think I've got some answers for you. Number one, when your child is asking you questions that you can't answer based on your golf experience, now's the time to seek out a lesson. But don't just seek anybody out based on price. Seek them out on quality, but most important, the relationship you can establish with that golf professional. That is so critical. Whether your junior wants to play golf the remainder of their life or not probably hinges not only on you exposing them between the ages of three and five, but it, it's also based on their first lesson, first instructional experience. And a lot of that has to do with the instructor. Can that person relate to your junior golfer, whether male, female, regardless of the age? Do they understand your background and what the purpose of the lesson is? It's just not maybe to get competitive, maybe it's just to continue to foster fun. Make sure that when you are choosing an instructor for your junior golfer, regardless of age, that you make a question list and ask those questions of that coach to ensure that you're finding the right relationship coach to student for your junior golfer. Leave price out of it. I know you're on a budget. However, when you think about budget, you're probably gonna sacrifice something else and that other sacrifice is quality. When are they ready to commit? When are they ready to play more competitively? I can sum that up in I'm a parent and my 19 year old, I knew exactly when he was ready. When he started showing me more passion for his sport, when he started showing me more commitment and dedication to his practice, when he's consumed by the sport that he chose. He wasn't a golfer, he was a baseball and football player. And at that point, what I basically told him was, hey, I'm always gonna be dad. I can't be your coach, let's find great coaching for you. But at that point as a parent, let's sacrifice your ego, let's sacrifice some other things that you do and really get behind your junior golfer. Their first team member is you, and you've got to be there to support them, to let them know that you've got their back, but most importantly, through the down times of improvement, through the down times of competition, through the down times of possibly your budget, you've got to be there truthful and honest and let them know how much you care and love for them, but most importantly, how much you're behind their success and that you can wait out this little downtime. That's so critical for junior golfers. You, you won't believe how much junior golfers will ebb and flow, probably sometimes more than an adult, simply because they lack the experience that we do to be able to weather the storm through those low points. College golf. What are you doing about college golf? Well, I'm going to tell you point blank. College golf, it's competitive now more so than ever before. If you're looking to play at a very high level D1, top 50, top 100 school, you better have a scoring average. But parents and players, coaches are looking for a lot more. They're looking for your commitment level, your passion. Your grades tell them whether you manage your time well or not and whether you're going to be someone high maintenance to them from an academic standpoint of view. Your practice, is it organized? Do you set up your practice area organized or just to dump everything and throw everything? That is an indication to a college coach of how well you'll fit into their culture. You may have the best scoring average, but if you don't fit into their culture, you're not gonna be recruited. And by all means, because you don't have a scoring average, that does not mean that you cannot make a collegiate team. There's tons of teams out there, particularly in the North, that are looking for people who haven't peaked yet, that want to get involved and work harder. 
and make golf part of their collegiate career. Being a former collegiate athlete myself, I can't tell you how beneficial that experience was for me, how much I enjoyed it, and how much I look back at those times and think about the things I learned that I employ now, not only as a coach, but within my personal life as well. If you have any more comments, questions about how to support your junior golfer, by all means contact me. I'd love to work with your junior golfer if that's something you anticipate happening in the future, that they get a little bit more competitive or they're just trying to get started. Me and my team can certainly help you out that way. Leave the comments below. Contact me. My information is provided within the video. But most importantly, love and care for your junior golfer that's going to go a long way towards their success and development. Let them know you're their number one team member.